Hey there, whoa. Now I'm gonna go ride the roads today and relax a little bit. Kinda this weekday, I don't really wanna be I don't really wanna go beekeeping today. Are you serious? Okay, 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 okay. We'll go do a little beekeeping today. Hey y'all, this is Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike and I do bees. Glad y'all could join me on another day here in my 2020 beekeeping season. We're going all the way from winter through the fall and just documenting my season here in one year's time. All the way from growing up the hives, which aren't growing the best right now, to taking out the honey and to putting them back into place for winter. It's not a how-to video though. Just want everybody to always remember that. I'm not here trying to be an expert on YouTube and tell you how you're doing things. I'm just showing you how I do things and what has worked for me in the past and you're learning right along with me on things to do and things not to do. Because each year I always learn a different thing I shouldn't be doing. And I always learn a better way to do things. But if you do happen to pick up any tips and tricks, man, that's great. And if you have any tips and tricks for me, be sure to leave me in the comment section. Well, good morning, folks. It's a pretty morning out here. I'm out here at the Dairy Farm. I came out here, I need to go ahead and check see do we need uh, supers out here. The privet is absolutely exploding everywhere, uh, but you know, just because you see something bloom, what I've learned over the years is that just because you see a bloom, it doesn't mean they're building fast or whatever. And I'm starting to get a little concerned this year. This is a time of year I always get concerned, um, but this is one of those years. Yeah, I'm pretty kind of I'm pretty concerned because uh, the growth isn't where I'd like it to be. I'm not worry about my bees dying or anything. That's fine, but uh, the growth the growth is not where I need for supers. Tallow is coming in right behind the privet it looks like this year. A little closer than, I think there'll still be a little bit of a break, but uh, it's not gonna be like the normal uh, couple weeks, I don't think. Cause some of the, some of the uh, tallow's already got some pretty decent sized tassels, so. So all I really gotta do right now in, in here is I do wanna just lift the lids. If they're, um, they're not filling the top or anything, I do wanna look through them. If there's anything suspicious, I wanna look through them. And other than that, I just wanna see if I've got numbers and uh, put on supers. So guys, how many of y'all, how many of y'all have been keeping bees for a while now, get to this point of the year and start already rethinking how you're gonna do it differently next year? That's that's my question for y'all. I do every year, every if, even from the beginning, even new beekeepers, y'all probably thinking, what can I do different next year? And we ain't even got to the harvest yet and I'm already thinking of what I'm gonna do different. I've been splitting hives the same way now for this probably the same way vertical splits wise for probably five years and just doing walkaways now for almost for every year but uh, I'm thinking about doing something a little different next year just because I always get to this point of the year and I begin to I told you earlier I begin to uh, get a little nervous about the honey flowing on there's ways to prevent this by doing things differently let's look through these hives really quick and see can we uh, determine are they growing what's going on why are they so slow in the mornings and do they need honey supers? Yeah, they're looking good. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let's see how many frames they've grown up. I, it's been almost two weeks since I've been out here. I guess they've got, they put on one extra frame. But the privet is just really right now exploding. But that's, um, I think they grew a little faster than that. Swarms usually grow a little fast, but I do see a lot more bees. So the brood has definitely emerged. And I got, yeah, see, we got emerging brood, big time, and she's probably backfilling that, so. That's the old queen cups and such, but that's just normal. Let's look for our queen. Let's take our time in this one. I know the other ones I'm hoping not to even go through. Maybe that's a full frame, but that's a good queen. I catch good swarms out there. This one was out by that pond, if y'all watched my other video. a nice pattern yeah there's plenty of bees so they'll fill this on up during the tallow and uh, they have to I didn't think to bring a second deep but I think it's still early I'm right at six frames they could use one soon but I'll probably bring one out in a couple days just because I got tallow flow coming oh, in queen right there good gracious she blends right in Wow see her Look at her. Wow. So she's on this frame. She's probably laying. We're going to leave her back in. 
I'm not gonna mess with her no more. I'm happy with that. Good gracious, that's a big old queen. I don't know if that's the first time I've seen her or not. Of course, you're putting in some drone comb. Putting in some honey, this is all brand new. Did all that drone comb, that's all drone comb. Drone comb is honeycomb. You get more bang for the buck. What if there's any eggs in there? She's making some drones or not. Nope, I don't see any. Good. We don't need any extra drones, but they... Not, they might, not making any cattywampus comb, so we're happy with that. I see the comb. I see the frame in here. And I'm trying to look at the bottom. See, this doesn't need a super. They ain't even filled a deep up yet. This one probably won't. And that's unusual for they're putting nectar in the top and all, I'm building it up. But what I'm seeing is big time lack of growth. Um, and I know guys are going to say, well, you're not feeding and all, but down here I normally don't feed, okay? I don't feed. I, they, they grow usually on their own, but this year I'm not seeing it. This, these have been down here for a few weeks now, and I, I would expect to see more, more growth out of them, and I'm not. So I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. I said that early on about these hives. I was kind of disappointed. Yeah, this, is happening at, at the, this is happening at my house as well. They're not where, they're not where they normally are this time of year got to be to do with early splits and not having enough numbers it's, it's, it's got to be and that's one of the things I'm gonna be changing up next year my splits are gonna change and there's bees down in there but there's eggs all in this I do like that black foundation you can see them eggs she's wanting to grow there's the queen He's up here. She's doing the thing that I need her to do, but they're drawing comb. But let's see what's in here. We've got a super on here, so obviously we thought it was big enough. I didn't use an excluder. Yeah, they're not even up here. They're loading up the top deeps with honey is what they're doing. I mean, I'm looking at the honey up in there. I mean, this is packed. This will produce for me, but I would expect it to be some more in there due to the towel, uh, the privet. Yep, queen cells are swarming. I just ripped two of them open. So for some reason, having all this space wasn't enough for them. This is an old queen. So, here's the frustrating thing. I have to split them this time of the year. So that's a swarming colony right there, guys. I don't think they formed yet. So what I'm gonna do is leave my cell in each hive and split it. And what I basically did was, I said this would produce honey, this won't be producing honey. Not this year. And here's the funny thing, look how narrow the nest is. They'd worked their ways out and now they're not and they're going up and swarming. I'm not going to kill these cells. I don't know, did that one, did I rip that one open? That's... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to split it. I didn't bring a bottom board or anything, but I'm going to come back out and split it. I really didn't think we'd be at this point with supers on it, but uh, they've decided to swarm. So this one's shot for honey. Alright, let's take a look at this one. This is a hive that uh, that had a super procedure in it, and honestly, it did not. It's not got nothing in the top that I know. It's um, what that kind of spider it is. It's uh, it didn't look good. You know, most super procedures, uh, the way they are. They're usually full of brooding on this and didn't have hardly any brood and had a super procedure cell. So I'm gonna see if they recover from it. This is also now gonna be a non-production hive. So all my hives that are normally production hives, my
queen size in my splits, they're not gonna produce this year. There's, probably some of, there's a brand new super procedure again. This is now this is here's another thing I'm gonna show you. Doesn't look like it was open. So now we're we're still trying to supersede. We're still trying to make a new queen. There's an old one in here. I'm gonna see if there's any eggs, but them queen, them hives just keep trying to make queen. See, there's the one that we had last week. Looks like there was one on top. It's already opened. Or last week, about a week and a half ago. A week and a half, ten days ago. I don't want to shake this up too much. I had a year like this though guys where it just it was rough but I don't think it was this bad like this is bad like, we started out real real strong and there's been nectar not a lot but there has been nectar flowing the whole time and I'm going through here and I'm looking and I'm going wow for there to be a nectar flowing and us not have anything going on it's just absolutely crazy disappointed today these queens over here should only be a year old I mean no old queens but they shouldn't be that old so so far very disappointing results guys and that's why this is not a how-to video because if you follow what I'm doing you might be in trouble if you really want to know my take on things is I don't think that super procedure we just looked at is going to requeen I think I'll be combining it because I, I tell you in the past what I've seen when they keep doing that over and over, they're not gonna make one. Okay. They keep they keep superseding, they keep putting eggs in, meaning the queen is still there to put the egg in. So it's I don't know, it's like you wonder, well what's going on? They still want to get rid of her, but they, they, what happened to the one they made that's emerged? This is a swarm though, this was a combined. So they're they're Combine them because the swarm was had a virgin and didn't make. She didn't come back. Let's see, they put the brood in. Very good. So this one's growing, but it's just too late. So then Mike could put some honey boxes on it later. Okay, so this one she's she's building up. She's putting in brood, so they'll have plenty of bees soon. But in time for flow, I doubt it. Drawn this out, that's good. Full of eggs. Reading glasses are helping a little bit. Full of eggs, I can see it. That's good. So, well, that's a promising hive. See how narrow it is? But that's okay. They're working, they're working out. Sure, what we did with this hive, it doesn't look like it's got a lot of bees, but they're up here. Coming on out with some pollen. It'd be nice if the brood nest was that wide. They're drawing frames. That's okay. So there, these are trying to grow trying to grow they're putting in nectar of course I'm starting to get a little further in I'd like with nectar but you gotta be ready for a super so you gotta put it where you can get it I guess all right that's full of brood that's full of larvae That's a slam full of eggs. That's a burr comb. I'm not going to lift the box right now if I don't have to. Let's 
turned into more than popping tops. But I'm not seeing stuff I like to see. That looks like all just a freshly emerged brood. We've got brood on the outside. That's giving us our numbers. And this one could possibly be a producer for us. It's still cleaning the legs yet. Oh, she's not back. Yeah, she's she's back filling this good. So we could have us a could have us a producer. So we got. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those other couple frames up just to make sure I don't have swarm cells. I don't think I will in this one. It doesn't look like it's in the swarm mode. Got some drones, but oh, and burcom. Yeah, this is full of larvae. This one's actually doing well. Okay, so we're okay here. Uh, all right, full of brood. And I don't see any swarm shells. And that one's widening out, so we're good. Looking good on this one. I'm gonna give these a super just to have one on here. I'm liable to get a queen laying in it, but let's give them a super. See what we can do with that. I might even go ahead and put a foundation on. Guys, I'm gonna give them uh, just some boxes on here. Wow. One of my inherited boxes. Loose. And I'm just simply doing this. There's, they don't have the population, but and I'm putting a foundation in it. I'm putting a, uh, a drawing. I'm simply doing this so I don't have to mess with them. I'll come back and look at them, but if for some reason, I know there's not enough bees. There are the frames, but they don't have enough bees. Uh, but that's okay. I don't see a major issue with high beetles out here. So I'm going to leave this on for now. It just gives them somewhere to go. Their nest is actually pretty wide. They've only got three frames on each. Two on one and one on the other where they're not got their nest built out. So I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see. The reason this one's staying without a super, I do want it to try and get a little bit wider. Um, and there's no... There's no uh, swarm preparations going on and I'll give them about a week to see what they do because the privet really is peaking right now so out here and just split them up for now see if we can get a queen out of either one so production's over for these so we're gonna have to do a lot more beekeeping than I planned on doing today I think this is the one that was superseding It's open now. Okay, so it opened up. Question is, did 
she get made it. Cause remember this is the side. Yeah, this one's open. See they made another one, you know. Remember looks like they made more cups. No, that's the one I ripped. They begin to make more cups. They were full of brood, so they, they burst all their brood out. If they'll get to, if she'll get to laying, we could possibly harvest off this one. I doubt it. There's only like four, five frames up here. There's a new cell going in. That new cell going in is full of of jelly. It's not a swarm cell. So. <laughs> baffles me and some more cups They're bound to determine to supersede her they're putting in new cups they're superseding they're doing all kind of weird stuff all right that's it folks we're where we're at we're where we're at we're done hey y'all we're back over at my place uh, I got done at the at the pond those hives are going backwards and I'm not really excited about that at all um, so we saw two, two hives there swarming. Makes no sense to me. Gave them drawn comb. One, didn't have an, one did have an excluder on the last inspection. I yanked it out because I was so frustrated that uh, they were building queen cups. But sure enough, they built queen cells. Now, the other hive that was swarming, they had queen cups last week. And everything appeared to be empty in those queen cups. But apparently, they had other, they had other plans. Um... And you know, they had space, they had places to lay, they weren't full. Uh, but the one with the excluder was starting to fill up and they were putting honey below the excluder. So that pretty much, that, that's that's it for excluders for me. That's the last, I don't even care to try and figure out where they're going, what they're, I, they just, I just can't do them. Um, I know plenty of people that do, um, commercial guys that do. There's plenty of people that use them, they use them successfully. Good for y'all, glad y'all do, keep on using them. Do what works for you. Um, they don't work for me. So what it is, I went over there and found out that 90% of the hives over there are going backwards instead of forwards. So I'll probably go split those hives with a divider board. I'm going to do it with a divider board so maybe I can rejoin them. As far as the flow goes, it's too late for them. The two supersedures over there were good day and good riddance. Are you kidding me? They're still trying to supersede. They're still making new supersedures. Trying to requeen at this point. I can live with it. They were old queens. It is what it is, but it's still frustrating. So those are out. I think I've seen one or two more that could possibly take a super. I put one on there um, and some foundation, and maybe they'll fill us up. We have got a full blown privet bloom going on. Now I'm telling you that's a privet bloom, not a flow, because I don't know. We can see what blooms, it doesn't mean we know what flows. But when you see this much privet normal, we got a good privet flow, <laughs> good nectar flow. But man, what a frustrating, frustrating thing to see because while we should be growing, we're not. I can't pinpoint it, guys. I have done, uh, I've done everything the same as I've always done it, yet I'm just having a rough year. And because I did split so early and I kind of, I kind of, I pulled their numbers down on them and probably took them a little more to bounce back. It's the only thing I could think I did different. I don't normally feed, I don't normally boost up nests and all that. Normally, let them make their own queens and they normally by this time uh, you know I always have a few that might supersede I have a couple here and there that aren't you know they're just not up to snuff they're not really growing that's genetics but I'm telling you a lot of hives aren't growing right now and it's quite frustrating uh, this year we had plenty of hives we had the bees and we had you know not a nectar flow I'm not gonna say it was a nectar flow but we had nectar coming in since February guys uh, the winter stuff was still blooming and and I say it not just because I've seen it blooming. I say that because there was nectar being loaded in the frames. I saw it. I showed you in videos. So, and we had good growth on some of the hives. Yet, having these super procedures, emergency cells going in one, super procedures, you know, hadn't been in hive in three to four weeks, and all of a sudden there's emergency cells when you go in. What happened to her that they got emergency cells in? So, it's a bit frustrating. It's um, it's like going going backwards, especially at the pond. Going backwards, that is very frustrating. Uh, 
I know there's always a few highs that just don't make it and don't go and don't go forward and don't push forward. But wow, that that's 90% of them. That's that's not good. So what am I to do? Well, I'm just just keep on going and raise bees at this point instead of a honey production. Will we get honey? Sure, we should get honey. That's it's. Will we get what we normally get? I'm not so sure. Uh, it's not my livelihood, though. It's not the end of the world. It's not something to go cram my head in the pillow over. Uh, Lord knows he, he he wouldn't have me do that anyway. Lord, I, he, Lord has blessed me, and we're a blessed family, and this is not my livelihood. It's, it's a hobby. What works out, works out. So I go back, and I look, and I say at the beginning of the video, man, what do you, what do you guys do? To, you know, What do you rethink? I asked that question because I'd already started rethinking what I'm going to do next year because... Uh, it's uh i've already seen I, I saw the hives not doing good here last week and so i begin to think what can i do better and i know i can requeen and feed and all that. and there may be some of that involved in what my new plan is but uh it's time to change i've been doing the same thing over and over each year and i always sweat it at this time of year well maybe a little bit before this i always start sweating it going oh we're gonna make it oh we're gonna make the honey kind of like man did i do all that i always do that and i want to start getting a little more efficient because I have more time now with my new job and I want to begin to do things a little different because I can I can afford to have more hives so I got to be a little more efficient and I don't want to be wondering in going into April whether we're going to make it or not as far as honey production um, so. and I do that every year I always change something up from the year before I always change a little something up from the year before all right guys well look it's all good in the end. It's just, uh, it's just a hobby. It's not my livelihood. It's frustrating, but you know what? We just push on and keep raising bees. And uh, I'm gonna go out and piddle around. If I go do those splits, I might go ahead and, and film that. I'm not gonna use newspaper or anything like that. I'm basically gonna split the two boxes and go from there. Um, the whole key is, is just to try and save the amount of bees I got in there. And maybe we can. Time will tell. But that's it for this video. I appreciate y'all watching. And I really do appreciate all you guys that have subscribed to my channel. Guys, I appreciate it uh, when you comment. And look, if you like the video today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And look, share the video with your friends, your family, and anybody just enjoys watching bees. Again, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and God bless y'all.